it's terrible. I mean, I don't even know. It's the worst feeling ever to feel separate from someone that reminds you of your natural state of love. So, and when my focus uh, switched to that second person, I was so glad because I felt such relief because the first person reflected me so much pain and love at the same time that it's been, how oh, this word is, excruciating. So then I, when my focus went to the second person, I was so glad because that was a little bit different reflection there. As I said, this per person is lighter, so I was enjoying that too. Of course, of course, I saw a lot of, you know, unflattering limited beliefs too, but it was a bit different. And I was so glad, I cannot even describe. I felt such a relief that my focus went from that first person. Though, of course, I was so glad I got to know about the first person. And I knew that if my focus is going to switch there, I'm going to feel the exact same thing. And that's exactly what happened. So I see it crystal clear now. And so my cold season, let's say this is the most tender cold season I've ever experienced. Um, I see some correlation with my processes because I really want to, to activate tenderness in me. It's already been activated. And I just want, and it's the most tender cold season I've ever remember, you know? which is very beautiful and I see this like uh, because we are one so it's it's very logical but since August when my focus first went to that person I uh, stopped dating that person broke up with me back in 2006 I was, I was feeling this love and I would meet stuff about that first person everywhere literally everywhere I would pass by the building and people, random people there would sing the line from the song which that person loved and which I sang like past days. I was mind blowing. Literally. So fucking mind blowing. Everywhere I would see notifications about that person. And then when I get to know about that uh, first person in autumn, I was like, oh, again, the same thing happened. And, and I got in about the second person again, the exact same thing happened. And so, focus of attention when it's on someone or on something, our brain works like this, they start to notice information that is relevant, which is, that is uh, close somehow to these topics so of our interest. So it seems like we have to be really, really smart, you know, and we have to uh, regulate those modes in our brains in order to really enjoy our lives rather than always you know being some sort of not slaves of this algorithm but well, we have to decide you know and it's it's very, it reminds me a lot about uh, languages because when I wanted to activate English mode in me, meaning I wanted to make it fluent, I was trying on, a, on this certain level of awareness and those tools I was trying, they were not working. But once I just realized what I have to do and I showed the algorithm to my brain, literally, I said, here you go, and my brain got it. And after that, it's like a mode. I can, I can speak English, then I can easily turn to Russian. Например, прямо как сейчас. Я могу говорить по-русски сколько угодно. And then I can again catch my wave and continue it in English. It's not a big deal now. And understand if person has several foreign languages activated, then it's it's the exact same thing. It's like switch right here and what language is well it's just a code symbols it's like symbols it's uh, it's codes basically word is just a code it's a symbol for a certain sensation and of course language messes up our perception because our perception is so freaking different so when we try to um 
tell something, describe something using language, we already have distortion. First, it comes from our own perception lens and from language and associations that we have, and then it comes to another lens of another distortion of another person who has different associations with the exact same words. So it's already a little bit, you know, spoiled telephone right there. Or it's a little bit distorted already, like twice. Telepathy is much more clear. It's a di distant thing. It's like basically just uh, sound like a message, but you send instantly uh, the feeling that you have, and another person can relate. But as soon as we have something, like as soon as we are not transparent in our thoughts, telepathy is not working, which is pretty logical. We have to be open for it. So, so it's because it's still not working telepathy. Let's just use language, right? So, language also for me is like music, um, which I like that because I'm a very sonic person. So, but let's say that. Uh, so with focus of attention, it's the exact same thing. I can see correlations. I can see interconnections. I can see how similar everything is. It's like holographic effect. Whether you put your stare on, it's the exact same thing. And you can learn the universe just while looking at this drop of water. Because drop of water reflects the whole universe. Which is true. Which is exactly the case. Because drop of water represents personality and ocean represents consciousness. So that's very similar. So focus of attention is a tool and um, you know, game is just, game is in the process. Advertisement, news, um, <laughs> certain things around, they can catch our stare and they can like pull this focus of our attention to themselves if we are not mindful enough to you know just to decide where it goes as i said we decide the impact that first person i was speaking about not that one that broke up with me back in 2006 no this one that i get to know this autumn about he was influencing me Though he didn't even know that I exist, and still he doesn't. But I was allowing it to happen. I was allowing this influence to happen because I know, and I knew, and I know, that it's very, it's healing for me. Though, it, yeah, it brings up a lot of pain, but it's healing because I feel, I feel it from the inside. So I was allowing it to happen. And I was welcoming that influence. Which, basically, is like sex. Because sex is also energetic wise just influence it's exchange and now I was exchanging because I was allowing it to happen I was allowing just the fact of being of another creature impact me and that's exactly what happened because I allow it to happen like this if I would close myself I wouldn't be able to change that much And I was allowing the second person also to impact me. I was allowing it to happen. I was open. It's basically like I'm open, like in a sex. You're open for another person's coming into your field and interacting with you and change you forever. That's the exact same thing. Because sex is not just genitalia uh, meeting. It's much more than that. It's always uh, interaction. And it happens all the freaking time. Without, without this act, it happens all the time, all the freaking time, without penetration, without touching each other, it happens all the time. So, so that's the tool, that's the main tool in this realm, focus of attention. And as soon as we have like this mode, Hesitation. We all can hesitate in ourselves. We, ha we all can have self-doubt. And because of that, it makes this, it spices up things so much in this game. Because if you're sure in yourself, if you're confident in your, in your inner knowledge, then you experience different shades of love. But if you have self-doubt, 
that's where pain hits so much. That's where it hits so much. But we're all equal because we came here in a very similar way. And we all have certain, you know, type of amnesia. We all can have this self-doubt. All of us. No exceptions. And this gives me even more of love to everybody. Which feels good. So, I cannot even believe it's been 43 minutes. For me, it was like one minute because time for me collapsed completely. But it's for those who also are very poor scientists, just like I am, who explore themselves. So, I'm finishing this with saying that knowing thyself is a key, is a cure, is a... is natural. So, know thyself. Remember, peace in equals peace out, not the vice versa.